The new slide control feature is similar to a tab control in that it helps you organize information while optimizing the space on your layout. The slide control feature is available for desktop, iPad, and iPhone. We're going to demonstrate this new feature using the brand new assets template that ships with FileMaker Pro 13. And right now we're looking at an iPad layout in the assets template. You actually have layouts for Mac and Windows or desktop, iPad, which we're looking at right now, iPhone, and web. Each one of these different layouts optimizes for that device. The slide control feature is right here. You'll see these familiar dots that allow you on iOS to move from pane to pane. And even though these panes seem to be disappearing, you can still interact just fine with them. We can come in here, choose to insert a picture, and it'll go right in there. It's very easy to work with, just like any field, except that you can hide them. You can go between these sections. So this is how you get everything organized and optimize your space. If you're on an iOS device, such as an iPad or an iPhone, you can use a swipe gesture to go between these different sections if you want. No need to have these dots showing or even click on them because they're kind of small. They wouldn't work very well on an iPad or iOS device. So simply a gesture. And if you know how to do scripting, you can simply have a script that will switch from section to section. And the script is not difficult at all. It's simply one step and tells it to go to that particular object. Let's go into layout mode and let's make a new layout. We're going to go to a touch device and choose to go to an iPad and choose a form view. Inside here we're going to simply come over here and select side control, draw a rectangle however big we want, and we get this slide control set up. A floating palette where we can change all the attributes. We automatically get three panes to start with, but we can add another one if we want. We can go to any one of the panes we want just simply by moving through here. If we close this, all we have to do is double click on it and that control will come back up. There are quite a few options here such as enabling swipe gestures. You don't have to have those if you don't want to. Show the navigation dots. You can see they disappear. And then in this case you would want to use scripted buttons or swipe gestures to get through the panes. And we can change the size of those dots if you want them bigger or smaller. So let's show you how easy it is to work with this once you have it set up with the right number of panes. You come over here, you get your field tool let's say, go to file one container, fill up this area, and then come over to pane two. Simply do the same thing except in this case we're going to choose File 2 container, fill up the space, and go on, so on, and so on. And when we go to browse mode, it's very easy to interact with this. You'll see that it's already ready to go. So that's the new slide control feature, allowing you to put a bunch of information into one area, conserving space, optimizing it, and it's really easy to use.